Yeah, learn how to watch. Uh, yeah, learn how to watch. Uh, uh, learn how to watch. Uh, yeah, learn how to watch. Uh, uh, stacking my guap. Uh, wait in the pot. Hey, uh, rubbing the spots. Uh, learn how to watch. Uh, yeah, learn how to watch. Book endings in all of sports. And it looked like earlier in the finals, like it was going to end like so many other seasons for the Cleveland sports teams with a defeat and a wait till next year. But LeBron James and the Cavaliers win three straight, two here at Oracle Arena. Here's the elder statesman of the league, Shaquille O'Neal, making his 15th All-Star appearance. You having as much fun as you did your first one? Yeah, I'm just out uh, having a good time, you know, with all the youngsters. You know, just glad to be here. I'm glad, you know, the coaches, you know, brought him in. Well, one of your teammates is going to be Kobe Bryant. We're going to reunite the two of you back together again on Valentine's Day. All right. All right. All right. All right. Hey, what's up, young boy? What's up, man? Doing good this year. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. How you doing? Family here? No, it's just me, just me and wifey. It's me and wifey, so. What's up, man? Look like you ready to play me one-on-one, -on -one, man. What's up? Huh? How you been? I've been fantastic. You guys won three NBA championships together. You call it the best big man, little man combination in the history of the league. There are feuds off the court, things said by both of you. You're back together. How is history going to remember this duo? I mean, you know, we're just going to go out. That tie is terrible, by the way. <laughs> we're just going to go out and have a good time. We're going to bring back old memories. You know, we were the best little man, big man tandem. Uh, you know, we had a lot of we had a lot of so-called drama, but I think it was fun for everybody. As you see, the cameras are all around. I know for a fact if we would have had our own TV show, it would have been, been the number one show ever, right? It would have been a lot of drama, but so right? many times you said it wasn't easy playing with Shaq, going through all the things you went through. Is it because you were younger and he was such a dominant figure? No, you know, we, if, if everything that everybody says about it, we won. We won, and I think that's the bottom line, and uh, that's something I don't think nobody ever forget. You won, but was it difficult, some of those winning times and some of the things that Shaq went through? We go through ups and downs, you know what I mean? But at, at the end of the day, that gave us a lot of momentum going into the playoffs. You know, like I said yesterday, everybody sees them smiling and all that, but when that light come on, that smile go off. And it's showtime. Do you believe him when he says it was all a media ploy by him to grab attention and take pressure off of you? Big chief marketer? Yeah, he used to say that all the time. <laughs> he used to say that all the time. Well, you got Phil Jackson back as your coach. Gets down to crunch time. Who's going to get the shot, Kobe or Shaq? Him, all, all the way, him. Yeah. Every time, him. Yeah. So you're finally going to defer to him. Yeah, I always. We used to, people don't understand, when we won those championships, we used to work it out. Like, he used to come to me and say, you know what, I'm a little stiff tonight. You take it tonight. Yeah. And I used to go to him and be like, you know what, I don't got it tonight. You know, you take it. We used to take turns. So that's, what we used to, that's how we used to work things out. Bygones be bygones, your friends, teammates again. Have a great time tomorrow. All right, thank you. Get a, get a new tie, man. Look at, it's Valentine's Day. What is this? That's a real diamond. It's a Fugazi diamond, man. Get a real. <laughs> All right, boy. Okay. They now Paul Pierce is asking to in this logo. All right. This is the size of the world. That's what I mean. 真的是难得一见，现在这个场面。哎哎哎 ，Yo， you stepped out the logo， bro。那，那我们把我们的掌声送给 Paul Pierce。Good job， good job。It's alright， he's, ma he's making up the rules as he goes along。我说。Good job， Molly。Embiid， Drummond， hugging it out。The Sixers win it by five, 108 to 103 on NBC Sports Philadelphia. Closeouts on their home floor. One of the dominant teams. That's a nice look there with Rozier and Bledsoe. You came into the arena wearing a Drew Bledsoe jersey. What was the significance of that outfit and that jersey to you as you came in to begin this series? I got love for my man Drew Bledsoe. Uh, even though we haven't talked, you know, I think I, I think you know who I am and I, and I know who he is. So that's <laughs> all that matters. All right, thank you, congrats. Man, fuck Lavar Ball.
Okay. Hey, your boy. Boy. Hey, hey, your boy. Your boy looking for you. Hey, come on, boy. Bring me some noise. What's up, boy? Don't be scared. I got your ass now. I'm just playing. Good job. Hey, you, y'all, I'm good. You know how we got to do it sometimes. We try to flip some stuff. No, we're good. I'll tell you what. Keep working on that. That's part of the community. Yeah, keep doing it. But here's the smart thing. Don't worry about nobody on the outside. They don't do nothing for stuff. You just keep playing, doing your thing. Trust me. They try to do some stuff to you, man. But see, that thing ain't get you. But don't worry about it. I do my own thing, so they can't mess with me. I do my own thing. Let me do my thing. But keep doing it. Good thing. Good thing. All right, good thing. Good luck. Hearing that is the weakest move I've ever seen from a superstar. Plain and simple. That's just how I look at it. You depart for the team that beat you when you're on the cusp of getting to the finals yourself or ultimately winning the championship for the franchise that you've been with since you've come into the NBA. I think it's incredibly weak. You're jumping on a bandwagon as far as I'm. But I don't think it's, it's fair to um, minimize what Kevin offers Golden State and what they offered him to say that it was the weakest move in NBA history, I think you're wrong. You're, you're too harsh. And and the, the things that you said about my son, I really appreciate that, but I think, I just think you were kind of harsh. Okay. Well, listen, first of all, you have a right. Say you're sorry. <laughs> I'm still the mama. I'm always. Say you're sorry. <laughs> For you. For you. For you. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. There you go. You're the best. You're the best. I'm sorry. He's the best. For you. For you. See, no matter what. For you. No matter what. I would say to you, this has been a tremendous day, right? My wife, my mother, my father, and they're saying, y'all need to get back together. Yeah. So when everybody called, I said, no question, we're going to do this. And just to sit across from you and have those relive those moments of fun, <laughs> excellence, working hard, dreaming big, because we were dreaming of moments before we were even who, who, who sit up at 19, 20, 21, dreaming of stuff we wanted to do, and now here we are doing it, you know? But you are my brother. Let me apologize to you. If I hurt you, that we haven't been together, and God is good to bring us back together. Am I right? I know, man. It hurt me, too. Come here, man. to go through but we do it brother okay i'll always be here oh come on man i always know i know i know i'm still mad that you beat me <laughs> <laughs>